Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard Blog, and in this short video, I'd like to take you through the Smart Notebook Lesson Activity Builder, which you can find um, in Smart Notebook 14 and 15, although it's made in revamped for 15 um, and, and newer versions of 15. Um, just be aware this is slightly different to the Lesson Activity Toolkit, which you'll find in the gallery, and also the Activity Builder, which you'll find on the on the jigsaw piece over here, the widgets. Uh, the Lesson Activity Builder is a, it's a totally different thing, um, but it lets you create things. Um, very quickly using a wizard that you could use in your lessons. So I'll spend a few minutes just taking through that. So I can a blank page and the the way you find the lesson activity builder is up on the toolbar. You're looking for this icon up the top here with the sort of the, the magic hat, the, the, the upside down top hat. So if you click on that, what will happen is the, the lab, the lesson activity builder page will pop up and on this page you'll have a choice of different kinds of game to um, to use. Now depending on the version of, of Smart Notebook you've got, you'll get more or less of these. They, there was more added with 15.2 just um, the other week. If you've got plain version 15, you may only have Super Salt, um, possibly even Shout Out, but it does depend on the version you've got. And if, you're, if you're able to have the, the Smart Notebook updates, uh, do make sure you've updated to the most recent version for version 15, um, so you get all of these games. So I'm going to start with Super Salt, that's nice and easy to do. So let's just start with this one. You can see on the screen here I can click on Add This Activity, and then it just takes you through a wizard, which um, lets you set the game up. So you've got a choice of different backgrounds in space or in the jungle. You've got a choice of whether you want to go to Mars or the Moon. I'm going to stick with space and just click Next. Uh, then you basically, this is these work as sorting activities. So if I just have two categories, I'm going to have uh, Animal and the right spaceship is going to be uh, Plant. And over here, I'm going to have maybe a, a hamster, a cat and a dog. And over here we might have a daisy, a tulip, a tree. So you can add the categories in here, and what you're doing here is putting in the correct answers and where they should go. Click on next. Uh, you can add things like timers or, or dice. You can even add um, a hat pick where you can choose um, students to come out and, and do this. So as you pick student at random, I'm going to leave those for now, but they're there if you want them. And just click finish. Uh, what it should do hopefully is join the page and on that page it'll put my activity here and all you need to do is drag these into the spaceship if you get it wrong they bounce back and if you get it right they disappear off into the spaceship uh, and that's about it the activity is nice and simple we can just drag it in quite quickly the the one thing you can't do at the end of this is, is get a list of what went into each category. It'd be nice to get a table that summarised the changes in the end, but it doesn't do that. But you can re refresh and have another go. If you want to edit it at any point, just go up to the top corner here and there's the um, the edit pen. Just click on edit and that'll let you make changes to the, to the toolkit if you want. So I'm just going to close that. I don't see that. Uh, let's give myself another page. Again, if I go back to the lesson activity builder, what I can also do is do things like rank order or fill in the blanks or match them up. So let's do a, a rank order one. Let's click on there and add this activity. I can have uh, order in the lab or I can do something on floating. Um, it can be there's correct answers, so it might be that these definitely have a complete rank order, or it might be a preference, just rank these in what we think is the most um, you know, strongly agree, strongly disagree, these kind of things. But um, I'll leave it like that. Click on next. There's lots of choices you can put in here. So if we did like a, a money sorting activity, that's a 5p. 10p and 20 pence and 50 pence and one pound. So we're putting them in the correct order from the smallest to the biggest, but again, you can play around with this. And I'll just do next. Again, add the components if you want to add a timer or um, a buzzer or anything like that. Let's just do finish and it will generate the game. Which again, we take these and they have to drag these over to the to the other side if we get them right when we're done it doesn't check it yet let's get them wrong and then we can then check the ranking and it'll tell you which ones you've got correct and which ones you've got wrong uh, and then one final one just to show you uh, i'll do this up to a point because i haven't got me things connected um just to be aware that there's shout it out as well and with shout it out if we have um 
this activity this actually will allow you to use devices such as tablets and laptops to send stuff to the computer at the front so if i add this activity um, i can either have a, a random arrangement so working a little bit like padlet maybe or a categorized arrangement where you're sending answers for the correct categories that could be arranged randomly and next uh, i can accept text or images and i can set how many devices uh, how many contributions per device. If you only want every child to do three things or even just one thing, you can set that there and whether you want to have their names uh, to be displayed. Uh, text or images, I'll just stick with text. Click on next. Again, add the components. And when that adds that to the page, you'll get a slightly different thing. If I want to start the activity, it will generate for me a URL up here. There we go. So what the children need to do is open up their iPads or their laptops or their phones or whatever, go to the browser, so Safari, Chrome, whatever, go to classlab.com, uh, which is the URL you need to enter, and then that ID number. So in this case, it was 5813-5322. Um, once they're in, their names will appear down here, and they will be able to send stuff onto this page, which is kind of neat. And it's... Um, Okay, a thing you can do with other other, other um, software, but because it's built into um, Smart Notebook, it saves you to go off into other places, and it's, it's already built in. So if you've got Notebook 15, definitely worth a, a look. Um, I'll write some bits up for the blog, um, put them on the whiteboard blog. If you haven't seen the whiteboard blog, please go here, and there's lots of guides and help sheets and links to other things that you can do on Smart Notebook. So um, thank you for your time. Uh, Give a shout for any questions. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.